Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's video we're going to check into the 16th of July uh, 2022nd <clears throat> and uh, if you are interested guys in a personal reading with me uh, you can always uh, go to my website uh, which link you're going to find in the description down below and there at the very front page you will see full list of my services and as well their pricing. So with that uh, pretty much set aside doing the cut and let's see what cards we have. Uh, so the first card for that particular day uh, we do have the chariot <clears throat> followed by the second card which uh, stands as the seven of uh, pentacles and the final card of the day uh, we do have uh, the star card right so uh, this is pretty much uh, the elemental dignity for that particular day now the day isn't going to be bad but by any means it's not going to be bad but because the star card sits next to the chariot, which forms a passive neutral's elemental dignity, uh, these two cards are giving us the idea that at uh, that particular day, 16th of July, which happens to be Saturday, uh, we can... Uh, uh, let, me, let me put my thoughts straight. So we, we, we will have the opening to manifest into the second best thing right so it's not going to be the best thing we would like to manifest the second best and by all means i will take it you know some people are going to uh, i have such friends you know that's got disappointed because it's not the best thing they could have stumbled upon or they could be a part of the second best and they just i don't know they they can't handle it well, to me, that's that's a win if you uh, if you ask me. And so, if you are not feeling, I don't know, uh, miss, I don't know even how to call it, like a, uh, um, if you are not if you are not feeling underestimated. OK, if you're not feeling like you are screwed, uh, that party and, and, and you are, uh, attend to the second best thing, whether it is, you know, into your love life or into your career. And let me let me try to tell you what is the second best thing. So if you think that right now the best thing that can happen to you is something in your love life and something amazing happens into your career, which is a little bit on the second gear, but still something important, would you not take that? good thing happening into your career although it's not happening into your love life i i i think you would right or into your social circle etc etc uh, that's besides the point so <clears throat> into that second best thing uh you will have the ability to make a self-expansion and self-development and that is about you it, it is about our personality okay this isn't about the cooperation it isn't about you doing uh you doing a performance that that, that depends on other people and is going to be a uh, assessed by other people is going to be measured by other people this is something you do with these two hands this is something you do with your brain this is something you do with your passion with your love and so on and so forward and, and believe me guys you want to do it in a way that you feel proud about it at the end of the day because pretty much that's how you should be feeling because when you when you turn your glance backwards and, and you see what you are able to manifest throughout that day 16th of july you will feel proud and many of you are going to feel like they were able to make a even a wish fulfillment although at the start of the day you didn't knew that that's even a wish of yours because you know it's the second best thing in people doesn't have second wishes right or second best wishes so to speak and uh <clears throat> on another level uh 16th of july is going to be a day where many of us will finally classify what worth it and what doesn't worth it and so moving forward into the future after that particular day it will be less likely that we are going to find ourselves investing 
whatever it is, right? Investing either time or either emotions, maybe money as well. <clears throat> So whatever investments you do, but we're going to find it, find ourselves less likely to invest into enterprises that are not going to pay off in any way. Of course, that is not a bulletproof, right? What I, what I mean is that sometimes the temptation is stronger and that is a general reading. But in this day, we're going to draw a line, make a retrospective and say, oh my, okay, so these situations, they just don't work my time. That kind of people, they are not what they don't work my attention. These kind of people, though, they do work my attention. These kind of people, they do worth my love. These kind of projects, they do work my time they do work my finances or my investment these type of businesses and so on and so forth and so <clears throat> we're going to make that classification throughout the day for the majority of our environment and afterwards uh, you can expect a less leak of a resources which resources is pretty much everything time efforts love emotions and so on and so forth so on a uh, on a very superficial level though uh these this reading shows that uh saturday is the day where you push really really hard especially into things you find it's worth it and believe me you are going to have that astute discernment realizing what it is what 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 worth your time and, and your attention and what doesn't and so once you do uh, identify what works your attention it's it's a moment where you really really pre have to press hard you gotta bring the hammer down literally and uh, this hard press needs to happen through combining your iron will and your determination you know and just looking forward and, and pushing through and uh, whatever plight or an obstacle you are you are you are facing beforehand uh, i guarantee you with these cards that you are going to overcome it into the 6th of Ju 16th of july uh 2022nd and finally for those of you guys who are going to happen to date in that particular day uh it, it's likely that you are going to have a good time dating if you have a scheduled date etc but uh, I, and you will have that excitement in by the look of these cards do not mistake this one for love I, it's uh, if it happens that excitement appears today 16th of july it's not yet love according to these cards it's a drive it's a pull it's a uh, i don't know even how it's an attraction more or less that is because with the chariot card especially having the uh, star card next to it it speaks that we can make a premature um premature premature jump it's like a premature uh commitment into somebody it doesn't mean the commitment is going to be bad it is just later down the road uh, you may kind of like uncover things which you would have wished to know before you actually make your commitment and so with that said that was uh, the daily tarot reading for 16th of july 2022nd hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are going to see each other next time until then bye